What's up guys? Good morning YouTube. We are out here and when I say we, I mean Christian and myself fishing this sweet little city pond in the middle of this apartment complex. We've already nailed some catches this morning. I figured I'd get to this intro because today we're going to be rocking and rolling with the brand new Shimano Scorpion MGL. I want to give you guys the first impressions on this thing. I'm going to switch you guys over to the GoPro right now. We're going to nail these few catches and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this brand new reel. About 220 bucks. I'm going to link it below. If you're curious, it's so exclusive. You got to get it while the getting's good because I'm telling you, they're selling out with most of these buyers on Amazon and eBay so you want to get a hold of this thing if you're if you're in the market for a new reel and your budget's somewhere around 200 bucks I'd say you can't go wrong with this thing let's go ahead and get into this first impressions video 604 a.m. met Christian at a spot I fished one time before actually back in it was one of my first videos probably I'm not gonna I'll let you find it if I link it you'll make fun of how goofy I was on my first couple vlogs but basically I'm crankbait fishing in the middle of the day that's the whole deal all right All right, if this don't get hit, I don't know what will. Definitely could go for a waterfall fish. First cast. <laughs> Down by the little fall. This might be the deal over here. First little guy of the morning came out over here. I was trying to fish this fall. And he, uh, did you hammered the little kraken? I knew it was a little guy. I was even questioning if it was maybe like a bluegill or something, just because of the uh, the nature of the hits. Quite a few little pecks there for a second. They didn't want the swim bait too much. They didn't want the top water very much, even though we saw a few bursting. So that was kind of a surprise. Takes the good old Texas rig, lightweight on here, just an eighth ounce wood tungsten weight. There's more in here, and there, there's bigger ones to be had, I'm sure. Keep it rolling. Here we go, down in the fall. Crap. Oh, oh, it's a fish. Oh, it's a fish. Got him. It's. I thought I was snagged in the tree. I literally thought I was snagged in the tree, did not even set the hook. <laughs> that was exactly where I wanted to catch a fish. <laughs> Look, you guys, we cranked them up out of the falls. There we go. Let's get them back. Okay guys, so quick recap as I'm re-rigging this. I literally, I casted from over here. I casted this direction and there's this tree branch here. I thought the water pushed my line past that tree and so I was like oh crap I'm snagged so I walked over here nothing was tugging or anything and then I realized it was a fish as I was trying to bring it up I thought I was literally caught on a tree there was nothing that felt like a bite that was just funny and I'm gonna tear this crack and crawl down one section now it's still it was still okay but I could tell it was gonna start coming off the hook if I kept using it okay what else is hungry in here And we got bites right away. Got him. Little bigger, right in, right where he's supposed to be, right by the tree. <laughs> Christian's pissed over here. <laughs> All right, guys, third fish in the morning. This one came on the crack and crawl. This is the third catch on it, and it looks like now he's lost his flippers. Throwing the Wu Tungsten eighth ounce weight, just a little light sucker, letting the crawl sink real slow and getting that tail flutter on the way down, and they're loving it this morning. This is the biggest one so far. Probably only a pound pound and a half max and uh, we're catching them right here off this waterfall and just right along the grass uh, just past it here and uh, dude they're loving the black and blue color this morning we were thinking top water was going to be the deal here didn't get too many hits uh, maybe I think we got one or two blow ups so far but uh, haven't capitalized yet so instead we're just out here cranking these waterfalls with a good old Texas rig getting it done that came on the brand new Scorpion MGL that you guys have only seen in probably one other video and then uh, paired up with the 7.2 medium heavy rig rod get a new crop put on here and I think we're gonna walk around and show you guys a little bit more of this pond here there's a lot to it this is just the back corner where that fall is and so more area to cover let me get old cracking on here and we will get to rocking okay Chris
Christian said he just got a hit right here by this tree, but he's focused on one that keeps blowing up on that bank. Let me get in here for a cast real fast and see if we can't pick him up. I'm gonna come right over this log, which is not necessarily ideal. There we go. All right, strike zone. Right where he said he got his hit. Oh, primo. Got him. Oh. Came off. No, it, it, it dropped down, but I definitely just had that fish and he came off. Yes. Christian's on. Extra foggy this morning. Threw on that bank, let it roll down the hill, just popped it just a little bit, hit the water, swam off with it. About a pound. Nice man, Christian's first fish in the morning. You guys are all fogged up. It kind of gives it this little filter looking effect. I don't even, I don't even know. Just extra humid out here this morning. Hopefully the GoPro's not doing that. All right, you wanna walk over to the bridge? I wanna catch a big one off the bridge. Guys, the money zone. The bridge, the grass. A little hunch about this, this brush right here. Bet you there's a fish hanging out in it. Morning. Not too much. Oh, just had a fish. Got him. Dangerous. It's definitely the biggest snapping turtle you've ever seen. Hey, uh, will you grab me the scissors? Yeah, but you're not going to reach your hand in this thing. You think he'll go up on land? He's digging now. Don't get too close now. You know, I mean, how close are you going to get? You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, you'll have to almost push it in. You know what I mean? Oh, hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that sucks. I don't know what you're supposed to do with the snapping turtle, dude. We need like... It was crazy because in that exact spot, I just had a fish on and I saw the white belly flash. Like I just had him there, so I recast it and then boom, I set the hook and I'm like, that's not that fish. Switching up the GoPro batteries, y'all. This one just died. Angle you guys up. I usually keep it on this angle right here. This is all the way up on the chest mount, but since we're fishing off this bridge, I might angle it down just a hair. That way we can see a little bit of the action if we get some uh, catches off this thing. So just so you guys know, I normally have that chest mount dialed all the way up in most of my videos. Okay, so, the Scorpion. So far what I've noticed is the casting is flawless, just like all the other Shimano's we've got. The retrieve is just insanely smooth. This is the 7-4 to 1 gear ratio. And uh, you know, there's not much for me to say. I'm not like the professional, I'm just the uh, hobbyist. I like to make a couple videos on the tube, but um, <laughs> I'll tell you it pairs nicely with a phantom rig rod. The drag has enough rating for any fish I'll probably ever catch out of these city ponds you normally see me hopping around at. As far as the brakes go, this isn't the DC reel, this is the MGL, which is why it has this sick new 2019 finish right here, new for this year. And, um, so far it's chunking out the light baits no problem. I say light because I really just have an eighth ounce weight on here and the Kraken Craw is nothing too, nothing too heavy by itself. So normally I'd be throwing a quarter ounce, maybe a three eighth ounce weight, just something a little bit heavier. You can definitely get some more distance. But right now I've got these brakes dialed up to the maximum, which is six. There's one through six. And um, I've, got, I've got almost a little excess line on the spool. I really just wanted to go through that whole box of line and not put any to waste, knowing that I'm gonna be retying a lot and it'll be right where I want it soon but I've got it right on the edge of the spool and typically I don't go quite that far and I think it's a um, I think when you do that it's a little bit easier to get a backlash you kind of want just a just a maybe a quarter inch or even no not even a quarter you want like an eighth of an inch and so I kind of just got it even with the spool not necessarily ideal but uh, I'm just thumbing it a little bit more on the cast to keep it from backlashing we've actually got it spooled up with 17 pound fluorocarbon She's getting the job done. We're three fish in so far. Oh, you know what? I haven't even messed with the tension knob. No wonder I'm probably like casting it not super far. I bet you this is too tight. Or maybe it's too loose. Oh, maybe it's just right. 
ideally when you get a new reel you want to set the tension up to where the bait just drops slowly but it's dropping pretty quick and that's okay for me because in this scenario because I have it on max brakes and so if I also crank the tension up all the way or to where the bait drops slowly I'm not gonna hardly get any distance so you just got to find that happy medium use your thumb on the cast to get that accurate casting without backlashing uh, and so what I've done is I've just got it to where that tension knobs a little loose the bait drops pretty quick but the brakes are on max and it seems to be a good combination so I'm getting a little bit of distance could definitely get more if I had a heavier bait on here and we'll tie a heavier bait on soon that way we can really get mixed use out of this deal but they're just hammering the uh, Texas rig right now loving the reel so far though I'll throw in some more key points here in a second at another spot okay we made it to the back corner over here no more bites, kind of weird. We're not feeling it. We're going to go to another pond. See y'all at the next spot. Rolling up to spot number two. Christian says there is some big ones in here. Let's get the stuff and start fishing. Okay, look at this spot. Wow. Is it deep out there, you think, or probably not? Just wondering if I should throw that swim bait, but I don't think I should at this exact spot walking it down okay guys i just made a couple switches i already had the gantrell junior swim bait tied onto the big sexy over there but i wanted to showcase it on the scorpion we're going to cast it a little bit see if we can't catch a mondo on it and then also i went ahead and hooked myself i went ahead and tied the jig black and blue with the crack and craw trailer onto the big sexy that way i've got something else to throw as well so let's get this thing chunked out here i'm just going to cast along this dock see if i can't snag one off the off the edge here no clue the depth. I think I'm gonna walk it down. Say what? What is off the beaten path? Another little puddle. Oh, yeah, tell me there's not fish. How are you? Doing all right. About yourself, guys. Good, man. Just getting out here. All right. Uh, I'm gonna try and go for a full send. Okay. Oh, right. oh lucked out. This is the spot, dude. Wow. I did not see the branches where I was casting. Oh, something just something just went for it. Something literally just chased it. Battery number three, I think. I keep all my batteries in this little pouch. I've got eight total, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't buy the GoPro batteries anymore. I buy these Wasabi ones. I think they're linked in the description, but if they're not, this is what I get. Just scope these things out, probably eBay or Amazon, Wasabi Power. And uh, you can get them in a three pack with a triple charger. And that triple charger even works for the regular GoPro batteries. So yeah, that's how we keep the Pro juiced up over here. And I'm just wondering when I'm gonna get this first swim bait hit. All right, guys, I don't want any problems here, but uh, this is the spot that looks by far the best to fish. Y'all care if I come over here and cast? He seems nice. Are you guys all that nice? Sweet. Yeah. This looks good. Ooh, got him. There he is. On the swim bait. I don't think he's that big. Nope. He's already swimming towards me. Hammered it. And that's how we do it on the new reel with the big old swim bait. Handled it like a champ, dragged in, slip up. There we go, guys. First pass to crank the big old Gantrell Jr. swim bait this morning. He hit on the Shimano Scorpion. Didn't slip up at all. Drag was there. It was set. He hit it good. I thought he was bigger. That's typically what happens on these uh, swim baits. So let me get him unhooked. The strike is so intense. Little did I know he's a little pound. When they hit that swim bait, like I say, you're just slow rolling it. That hit's just so heavy. They're trying to swipe at that bluegill and eat it or that bluegill imitation. I'm gonna see if we can't link up with something a little bit bigger now that we got that first hit. I bet you they'll hit that swim bait a little bit more. Might be crunch time. Yeah! Looks good! Dude, I think so! Woo. Look at that! Yo. Look at that. Oh my gosh, dude. That's I know a you baddie. got the scale right. I got the scale. Okay. 
He's gonna get this thing unhooked. I'm gonna go grab that scale. About three and a half. Three pounds, six ounces. I was three, thinking seven, four. Three, three, okay, eight. so three and a half. Yep. Dang. Three, <laughs> That's not a bad one right there. Dang, man. <laughs> we were fired up, dude. That thing looks so fat on the ground. We pulled it out. I was like, five. <laughs> Christian's PB is four and a half. That was about, a, that was a three and a half. He has three pounds, eight ounces, right on the dot, three and a half. Just a fat fish, very healthy. Definitely deserved it. I've been over here cranking fish this morning, and he's caught one, if I'm not mistaken, at the first pond. One. Yeah, one. Definitely deserved that catch on the top water. Sticking it out, throwing it at uh, nine o'clock in the morning, sun's up, and just got smoked. Let's keep it up. We caught one on this on the reel. I'm gonna go ahead and tie something else on just in y'all's interest since it's the first impressions video. Gonna cast something a little bit lighter. That's really the challenge with a lot of bait casters, not this heavy stuff. This was more for me. I just kind of wanted to catch something on this this morning. So let's tie on something a little bit lighter and uh, see if we can't pop it through these weeds. I've got just the thing. Okay, y'all probably know what I was thinking for this. Anytime you got a sketchy looking pond like this and there's not much but uh, bad grass, bust out this weightless fluke right here. You'll stay close to the surface. You'll stay just subsurface. This thing will flop around, piss them off. Ice white color, can't go wrong. Like 238 a pack or something dumb like that. It's super cheap. Uh, don't let me forget to up the brakes on here because I will surely get a backlash with all this extra line. Like I said earlier, it seems like it's easier for me to do that. Let's pop this thing out here for a minute and see if we don't get a bite or two. Just smacking it out there. Just <laughs> digital. No, not this one, but this is the new one. Dude, this I, like the shimmer and shine on this thing is, check it out. I wasn't gonna buy it. My friend just had it and said he wasn't gonna keep it. Thing's freaking nuts, Dang. like Iron Man style. But it's not digital. No, no, like this, but that's the same one digital, the Scorpion DC. This one's just uh, plain Jane, about fifty bucks cheaper. But with this finish, I, it's exclusive. The Scorpions they don't sell here. All right, we're gonna resume this fluke throwing festival at the next pond you just stumbled upon this right here and uh, this is just one of those things I can't help but cast a line and there's actually like quite a few big turtles in here and there's little bait fish swimming around so just have to give it like two casts at least okay we're heading over to the next body of water just pulled up to spot number seems like 10 every place we've been to is like different bodies of water we fish multiple ponds at each one same with this spot this one, uh, I've actually fished in the past before, got kicked out. Probably will happen again today. We'll see how long. We, we only have another half hour anyways. Maybe 45 minutes. I'm holding you guys like right up to my nose. So anyways, let's get to casting and see if we can't crank some more on the lovely Scorpion MGL. Yeah, that spot looks good. All right, fluke time. I really want to throw that swim bait again. Found myself a nice little windblown corner. See if I can't get a bite right here. Stick. All right, we're just going on the one rod mission right here. Walk this bank. Just got the pliers on me, left my backpack and the other rod over here. Cruise a little bit, cover some water with this swim bait. There we go. He's good. Oh, he's digging. He's good. Oh. Oh, never mind. I got him in the side. He swiped at it, but it actually got him in the side, you guys. That's why it felt so heavy. That's not good. I'm going to get him recovered real quick, though. We're trying to get him back in there so he can recover, but that was a crazy hit. You never want to hook a fish in the side like that, obviously. Uh, I was just slow cranking it but he, he probably went to go grab that sucker and just maybe barely missed it. And so the treble hook got his side and uh, it's, it's just part of fishing gonna happen every once in a while. And hopefully that doesn't happen again. Yeah, this is real good over here, guys. A lot of rocks, structure for these little fish to bunch up against. And then those big bass come up to feed and that's exactly what happened. Just had a, just had a decent one, I'd say. I mean, I say decent, probably two pounds. They're, they're in the shade mostly. Yeah, I figured I'd just give this corner a nice little walk around and... Oh, yeah, do, do that whole, that whole side right in there. Yep. Is, uh, 
nice, nice lure. Is that, what is that? This one is, uh, I think it's by Jack Jackal. It's called a Gantrail Junior. Yeah. And uh, it's been getting some decent ones. I, I only tied it on for the first time last night. I got a three and a half with it and, uh, wow. and a couple other ones. And then this guy was just two pounds. And it's, uh, I like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to follow this thing around. We'll see what happens. Thank you. Waiting for Bertha. Got him, huh? Nice, dude. Good one. Wow. Easy two and a half, huh? Oh, okay. How's that thing doing for you? <laughs> Christian, show me the ways of the black and blue, white and Dang, there you go. Check him out. He's got a Z-Man, a Z-Man chatterbait, silver blade, shad swim bait trailer, black and blue in color. He's just, he's covering the whole spectrum. That's why Christian don't miss. Uh, I gotta get this next fish. Look at this swan like hanging out in the water, just <laughs> taking a shower. Dude, this bank is money. casted him out a little far over this tin thing and I didn't want to uh, get caught on it so I just skied it on back all right I'm just gonna walk a little bit more of this I think and have a good one just in the interest of y'all let's see if I can't I'm trying not to get my rod tip in the tree just kind of pitch this sucker out there and then maybe capitalize on big mama that might be hiding right here in the bank between these trees I'm thinking it could actually be doable. Definitely could be one right here. All right, let's walk it back. We better get home. All right, guys, that about wraps up the first impressions. Super sick reel. I don't have a lot to say other than it's just the Shimano quality that you're paying for. The finish got me. I have a Scorpion DC reel, and I love it. And... Uh, I think you guys do too. It's actually one of my most highly viewed videos is my Scorpion DC first impressions video. The thing about this reel is so few people are probably going to have it. It's only from Japan. It's, it's JDM imports, so you're going to have to buy it probably Amazon or eBay. I'll leave some links down below. And I believe it's about $220, but it just goes so perfect with the rigged rod, which is like sick because I love this 7.2 medium heavy rigged rod. Uh, the Gantrell Jr. wreaking havoc on some fish today. Reel has no problem bringing them in, of course. Like I say, Shimano quality, you get what you pay for. I have probably $200 in other entry level reels that are now broken because I've either caught some big fish on it, just the, the drag starts messing up, the handle gets iffy, the release stops working, the spool release stops working. I mean, so to be incorporating these into the videos and hope that I can have a reliable reel is what I'm paying for with this. So that $200 plus price tag is something I'm willing to pay for. It's definitely eye catching. And not many people are going to have it, so like I say, man, if you're interested in this thing, I'd pick it up sooner than later. We're definitely going to be cranking some big fish on this thing right here, you guys, so be looking out for the future content with this bad boy right here. Till then, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>